Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your monthly advice readings for the month of April 2016. This reading is for Capricorn. So thank you very much for being here with me and thank you for everything you do to support my work. Um, it is truly appreciated and it encourages me to, to keep doing it. Um, please remember these are general readings and not, they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Um, you can also watch your moon and rising sign readings um, for extra messages. But just take the messages that resonate with you because that is what is meant for you in this general reading. And if you would like a private reading specific to you and your situation, you can go to my website www.advicetothinktwice.com, the services page, and you'll find all the information you need there. So, Capricorn, you have a fantastic month ahead of you, let me just tell you. So general energy the two of cups so this is a beautiful beautiful time for you this is a time of partnerships a time of strengthening bonds a time of settling down whatever that means for you um, the two of cups is a card that talks about partnerships definitely friendships that are starting this month um, kindred spirits coming together your health is getting back on track your health is um, getting back um, in balance, in control. The Two of Cups is talking about uh, commitment. Okay, so this may be you committing to yourself, you committing to improving yourself, bettering yourself, getting your health in the control, getting your uh, fitness regime going, nutrition, looking into um, whatever it is that you do to um, if you have any negative pat patterns, if you have any negative ways of thinking, you are committing this month to getting those um, resolved, healing, whatever needs healing, and just being um, an overall better you. This is in love. This is definitely a romance coming in for you, definitely. Um, a new relationship starting that is um, definitely soulmate type relationship with the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups in your reading. Um, so this is definitely da there's definitely a soulmate connection that is happening for you this month. Um, a relationship is starting that is a very beautiful relationship. It's a balanced partnership. It's an equal partnership. Um, whatever you bring to the relationship, that is exactly what the other person is bringing as well. Um, in finance, career, again, this is talking about partnership, just business partnerships, okay? Financial partnerships. So this is signing the contract, getting the job, um, getting accepted to join that team, join that department, join that company, you are um, committing to a new job, a new project, a new task, big task, um, a new company, and just know that your values and work ethics match those of the people you work with. So it's very important. It's the time when work doesn't feel like work. There is mutual support. There is mutual understanding and a mutual desire to develop and grow the team or the department or the company. Okay, so it's it's a fantastic time. First card we have for the first week of April, we have the Six of Cups. And this is talking about, first of all, if this is in your love situation, it's talking about someone from your, your past coming back it's not going to be a soulmate connection for absolutely every single one of you. Um, if it feels that way, then it's definitely that way for you. So again, trust your intuition with these readings or any kind of general readings, really. Um, just my advice to you. Um, but the Six of Cups is talking about someone from your past returning. Okay, returning because they have intentions to form a partnership with you now, to start a relationship, to commit to you. Maybe they couldn't do that in the past, now they're ready. Um, this could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this may be, again, someone who's a soulmate connection. So you may have known them here before or you are just meeting them now in this lifetime. Or this is someone who either you used to be with and things didn't go right for you in the past. Because again, situations weren't right. Either you weren't prepared, they weren't prepared, uh, whatever the case may be. Now they're coming back around because they are ready and they have the right intention towards you. Um, this may be someone from your childhood, someone who used to be a friend and now they're wanting to move things further to take things to the next level, level, sorry. Um, or this may be either a company you used to work with is now extending a job to you. 
a company you used to work for wants you back, wants to get you back with, um, to that company. And so any negotiations you have are going to be in your favor because they really want you back. Um, this may be just reconnecting with a friend that you haven't seen in a very long time. This is someone who's always been there for you. You've been best friends. Um, you have had an instant connection. So even if you were, had just you know, been friends for a week, it felt like you've been friends for a lifetime. It's that kind of connection. And this person is coming back and there's a beautiful time um, during the first week of the month that you spend reminiscing and reconnecting and enjoying yourselves and having fun and um, and just rec recollecting the good old days. In the second week, we have the Page of Cups. And again, this is a message of love. This is invitations uh, to go out on a date, to go out to, and spend t time with someone, get to know someone. They want to get to know you better. Um, this is someone saying, I love you. This is someone that, uh, expressing how they feel about you. Um, this is falling in love, definitely. This is the time when um, you're focusing on what could be, uh, what you would like this relationship to be, okay? Um, whatever news you were hoping to hear, I feel, potentially from this person from the past, that is exactly what they're expressing to you, and it feels like it's too good to be true. Trust it. It's definitely happening. Um, for others, this is positive news. If you've been trying to get into a program, if you've been trying to get into a course of any kind, anything to do with your creativity, with the arts, um, with your passions, what you love to do, what you love to study, that is the news that is coming to you this week. And that is exactly what is happening and what's going ahead. You may have some paperwork to go through, some paperwork to sign to say that you are committed to that project and they are committed to um, providing you with whatever that project is going to provide you with. Whatever it is, it's very positive news that is taking you towards your dreams coming true or it's news about your dreams coming true. Because in the third week, we have the star card, okay? And this is a beautiful card. This is exactly what that is. A wish is coming true. This is the wish card. It's a major arcana card. So it's definitely talking about a big wish that you have that is coming true. Something you've been hoping for and praying for and working towards for a very long time or something that you've just been carrying around with you for a while um, hoping it would come true. So anything, it can be anything really. So especially if it's to do with partnerships, especially if it's to do with you bettering yourself, growing, developing, expanding. The star is talking about healing. So again, we have that element of your health getting back on track, of balance being restored when it comes to your health. Um, the star card says that out of all the dreams that you're trying to manifest, one of them is actually coming true at this time. So definitely enjoy that. Okay, again, make time to spend with your loved ones. Celebrate when you need to celebrate. Give yourself credit. Give yourself praise when you need to give yourself credit. Acknowledge how far you've come. It's very important because that is exactly what is going to make you feel alive and again make you feel like you want to keep going and you want to keep growing and you want to do more and more so again the star is just telling you that one of your wishes big wishes bigger wishes or life-changing wishes is coming true at this time for others this is just talking about following your inspiration at this time because your prayers have been answered and you are being guided towards the answer to your prayer so definitely be open to receiving guidance information from your spirit guides from the universe um, signs symbols presented to you at this time pay attention to those and just again follow your intuition this is also telling you that this is a time to be yourself if there's anyone new around you and you feel like you have to impress them the the way to impress them is being yourself being confident with yourself being confident with who you are um, just allowing them to see you know, the fun person that you are, the kind person that you are. Uh, you can talk about your dreams and aspirations, and that's definitely um, what's going to impress them, okay? And if there's an Aquarius in your life that you're thinking of, then that's that's what's happening, okay? You're, the two of you are either going to meet or spend more time together or start a relationship or form any other kind of partnership. For the last week of the month, we have the Two of Pentacles. And this is another two, so another card that talks about um, a partnerships, a partnership. Um, the two of pentacles in this particular reading, though, it's usually a choice, okay, where you have to choose between two. Uh, for very few of you, I feel like 
it may be the case, but the overall message I'm getting from the Two of Pentacles is this is when you're receiving money with both hands. Okay, that's what's coming across from this card. I feel like a lot of communication is going to be coming your way at the same time, and a lot of rewards are going to be heading your way all at the same time. This may be a busy time for you towards the end of the month. Um, you may be juggling either um, a couple of jobs or your job in your home life or your personal projects, your creative projects and the time you spend with your friends, the time you spend with your family, the time you spend with your partner. Um, but it's going to be a busy time for you, a very positive time for you where again everything is taking off, you just need to keep up with everything. Um, and again, be open to receiving because I'm telling you, I'm seeing money coming your way. You're going to have to keep both hands um, open, okay, to receive with both hands. Um, the general tone, overall tone of the month for you, we have the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. And this is talking about your vitality, your joy, um, what makes you feel alive, your desires, your dreams, your passions, okay, what ignites that fire within you. And so this is telling you that everything that is happening, okay, the entire month of April 2016 for you um, is going to be a month of joy, expansion, growth. Your heart will be singing, whether that is because of a love relationship, whether that is because your dreams are coming true, um, whether it is because you found your place in life, you found your purpose, whatever it is for you. You're feeling alive, you're feeling fired up, you're feeling happy and blessed and you want to keep going, you want to grow even more. And again, make the time to have fun, make the time to laugh, make the time to um, enjoy yourself and um, acknowledge your accomplishments, okay? The message of advice or guidance for you, we have the angel of finances, okay? So again, this may be why I saw you receiving money with both hands. The angel of finances is telling you to um, Jesus, honor and give thanks for the blessings you're about to receive. Okay, so there's definitely blessings coming your way, definitely in the form of finance for a lot of you, um, and also in the form of love, love relationships, love partnerships, good health is definitely a blessing that is coming your way. And again, the opportunity for you to be who you are and the opportunity for you to invest in your dreams and creating um, your own reality, making your dreams a reality, okay? So it's gonna be a beautiful month for you. There's a lot of joy, there's a lot of yellow, okay, that I'm looking at. So that is enlightenment, that is joy, that is celebration, feeling alive, feeling that drive and that, and that passion and that fire, celebrating what you have, what you are receiving, and continuing to grow, continuing to work on your development, your expansion, okay? Because one dream is coming true for you, definitely, but look how many more dreams you have to create and you have to manifest, okay? So um, that's the message that I have for you, Capricorn. It, it's, it looks like an absolutely beautiful month, okay? So you, you're definitely gonna have to comment and let me know how the cards apply to you. Let me know how your month is going and how these messages apply to you in your situation. Um, please do um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, like the videos if you enjoy the reading. Um, share them with whoever you think might benefit from them. I would appreciate that. I'd be happy to hear that more people are benefiting from uh, my work. Um, just thank you again for anything and everything you do to support my work. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed month, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.